Hey YouTube, Explorer3S here, and today I'll be doing an add-on to a video I recently made on the summer with my friend Brent, my best friend, and um, uh, yeah, and we showed this gun and the Stinger. Um, the Stinger was a P312, I believe, yes, and this gun is a Terrace Replica PT92. And by the way, if you guys haven't seen the video that, that I posted, um, I'll put a link right here. So I'll give you like five seconds to press it right now. Okay. So since it's... Uh, um, and, I, and if you have seen it already, then you can go ahead and start watching this video. This video is just going to be... Uh, uh, like a powerful test, like if, if this gun po powerful with 12 gram BBs, the best uh, gram would, for this gun would be 25, 25 gram, and that'd be the best. It'd go the farthest, it, uh, you'd have the best accuracy, and it'd hit the hardest. But I'm just gonna try with 12 to see if this gun really, like lives up to its name, because I heard from many people that this is a very good gun, airsoft gun. So for beginners, so yeah, let's just shoot it right here. This, what you're looking at, is six sheets of printer paper reinforced with 12 sheets of uh, lined paper. So since lined paper is only half as, um, as strong as printer paper, so it'd be basically sh uh, six other sheets of printer paper. But I don't want to waste that much because it's kind of expensive. So, um, so yeah, so, so we're basically shooting at six sheets of printer paper. So first, give me this angle, and I'll be shooting very low for you guys, so you guys can see it. Well, it went through quite a lot, but it still did not penetrate the whole thing. See, there's the BB, it's stuck. Oh, shit. It's stuck right there. Yep, and it went through. Yes, yeah, so it went through that. Went through all of the line paper uh, of the printer paper, and it went a little bit through there and made it made a bunch of marks. So it went through all of the printer paper that I, that I had, and it went through t uh, three of the line paper. So now from the other angle, let's see that. I'm gonna shoot again. That one went all the way through. All the way through, all the way to the other side. See that little, wait, see that little exit hole? Right there? It's a, it's a hole. Oh no, it's just a dent. So it almost went through all of the pieces. There's some bees. Yeah, well, it almost went through all of them. It's pretty impressive for, for a gun that's only shooting 0.12 gram. So. Now I'm gonna be doing a sort of like a helmet camera, just to, so so you guys so you guys can see what I'm seeing. This is an accuracy test. Uh, accuracy. Uh, not, not, this is not an accuracy test. So we are. Uh, I'm only shooting like from about two uh, two meters about. So just uh, aim down the sights for you. Right there. I believe I went through all of them. But that's all I can zoom in right now. It's pretty impressive. For a, a, a gun, which is cl a clear pistol. And uh, it's a pistol, so it's pretty impressive for a normal airsoft pistol. And this is also clear, so it's not the best quality. I bought this at Canadian Tire. And you guys in America, you probably don't have that. And of course you don't. But you, I, I, I think you can buy these in Walmart. If you can't, just like look for them. You, it, it's guaranteed that you, you can see them. You can buy them off eBay. So yeah. Now, hmm, last one. Which I'm gonna. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to actually be showing a, uh, showing you guys. 
super close. And don't worry, I won't hit the camera. My aim is awesome. So I won't hit the camera. So yeah, super close. And now it's the crazy version of my shooting. Ah! Whoa, baby flew out. I just love shooting this. That's out. That's all out. See all of that? It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See ya.